Welcome to this video recording demo in the device lifecycle and inventory management use case. Atom in the Paragon automation portfolio provides the device lifecycle management and inventory management. Atom can discover multi-vendor devices using CDP, LLDP and SNMP protocols. Both seed and sweep mechanisms are supported. Once the devices are onboarded to Atom, you can schedule diagnostic jobs to keep updating the device metrics. The device view also consolidates alerts and real-time health information using syslog, SNMP, SNMP traps, and telemetry. You will have a single pane of glass for managing and monitoring thousands of devices across multiple domains. After the device is onboarded to Atom, Atom collects configuration snapshots either on demand, based on a schedule, or based on any changes. Inventory management in Atom tracks physical and logical interfaces, chassis serial number, software versions, and licenses. You can also export the data into CSV reports to share with external teams. Now let's take a quick look at device lifecycle and inventory management use case in Atom through a demo. After logging in Atom UI, you will see the Atom health information dashboard. You can switch to Atom device management dashboard to see the information of onboarded devices like uh, number of devices online, offline, and you can also see the devices by vendor types, etc. Now navigate to resource manager then devices. As a part of demo, I will show you how to onboard the devices into Atom. First step of the device onboarding is to create the credential sets for GRPC, NetConf, SSH, and SNMP. The second step to onboard the device into Atom is to create the credential profile and map all the NetConf, SSH, SNMP, and GRPC credential set into credential profile. Now the last and the final step is to onboard the device into Atom using the credential profile. Here you can see that I provided the ID of the device, which is the name of the device. And uh, here I can provide the management IP address of the device and I can call the credential profile here. And we also need to provide the vendor device driver. Here I am onboarding Juniper device, hence I call the Juniper NetCon driver. You can also provide the latitude and longitude of the device to see the device in the map view. Then you can click on the create button. Here in the task view, you can see that device successfully onboarded and config pull job also happened for that onboarded device. Now you can search the newly onboarded device using device attribute like management IP address. And here you can see that Atom provides the summary dashboard for that particular device where you can see the device alerts, health information and interface status. And you can also run like device inventory, topology inventory, retrieve configuration jobs from the summary dashboard page. Now you can go to the monitoring and uh, select the particular metrics like CPU, disk and memory. And you can monitor the CPU, memory and disk utilization of the device. Under the alerts, you can see the threshold based alerts like uh, memory, CPU, and you can also view the link up and down alerts, and you can create your own alerts as required. Under the configuration tab here, you can see the archived configuration of the device. If you will select the two archived configuration, you can also see the comparison view of the two configurations. You can also tag the configuration as required. You can also perform the config restore on device from the archived configuration. Under the change log, you can see the number of modified line, deleted lines, etc. for the archived configuration. Now go to the inventory tab. Here you can first see the physical and logical interfaces inventory of the onboarded device with MAC address, 
interface up and down status, IP address, VLAN ID, etc. You can see the device modules like routing engine, FPC, SFP details, etc. under the chassis view. Under the license inventory, you can view the validity of device-based feature licenses. And at last, software inventory provides the detail of each module of the running software package on the device. All these inventory reports you can download using export button and view these inventory report in CSV format to perform the network audits. That's all for today's demo on device lifecycle and inventory management use case. Thank you for listening.